Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss how we can set up multiple GitHub accounts on a device so that you can contribute to work and personal projects. Let's get started by creating a new SSH key pair. I'll be creating two SSH key pairs, one for work and another for personal use. Let's run this SSH keygen command to create SSH key pair. You can provide passphrase or leave it empty. Let's create another key pair. Copy your public key and add it to GitHub. Get back to github.com, click on the settings. On the left sidebar, you can see SSH and GPG keys. Add new SSH key, paste your key here, provide some title and hit the add button. As you can see, our key has been added. As you can see, I have added the second SSH key as well. Now let's get back to the terminal and manage some config on our device. The SSH config file is located in the .ssh directory. If the config file is not yet created, you can create one. I have an old copy of the config file, so I'll make a duplicate of it. Let's open the config file and see how the configuration looks like. Each block in the config file defines a relation with the SSH key to your GitHub account. The first line of the block contains your GitHub username associated with one of your GitHub accounts. The line with the identity files contains path to your private key. Make sure to update your configs accordingly and save the file. I have created a private repository on GitHub from one of the accounts. Let's try cloning the repo from both accounts and see what happens. First, copy the URL, get back to terminal, run the command git clone paste the URL, provide your GitHub username after github.com by separating it with a dash. We were able to clone the repo. Let's copy the command and paste it on the next tab. Change the username. As expected, the access was denied. I have invited the second user to the GitHub repository. Now let's try cloning the repository and see how it turns. As you can see, this time I was able to clone the repository from my second user. Each project contains a local git configuration file. To open the local git configuration file, first change the directory to your project. And then run the command git config dash dash local dash e. As you can see, there are already some default configuration. Now on the top, add a user block and provide your name and email as you can see in the format. These are the credentials that will be associated with your Git activities. For example, Git commit or Git push. So if you have another project that's associated with your work, then open the local Git config file and update your work credentials.